In this video, we will cover New York University College of Dentistry. We will start with the admissions background. All of the information here was pulled either from the IDEA AdSAS website or the NYU Dental website. So New York University is a private institution located in New York City. In 2020, they received around 3,000 applications for 367 seats. And that number of 367 is the largest dental class in the entire country. They had an overall acceptance rate of 12.1%, an in-state acceptance rate of 32.6%, and an out-of-state acceptance rate of 8.6%. Looking at the student breakdown, 39% of the incoming class came from the state of New York. And here we have the average academics for acceptance. The average student attending NYU Dental had a DAT of 21, a cumulative GPA of 3.5, and a science GPA of 3.4. Here we have the admissions requirements. When requesting your letters of recommendation, you have two options. One option is to submit a pre-dental committee letter, and the second option is to submit three individual letters, two of which must be from science faculty. There is also a table on this slide that shows all of the required coursework prior to enrolling at NYU Dental. Let's jump into NYU's academic offerings, and we will start with its academics and clinical experiences. The goal of any dental school is to produce certified dentists, and in order to do that, dental students need to pass their board exams. NYU assists dental students in that process through a one-credit course each semester that is meant to review and reinforce past material. Looking at clinical experiences, NYU follows a group practice model. In this model, students are assigned to group practices, each composed of about 25 students, starting at the beginning of D1 year. Students then remain in that group practice through all four years. In order to support students, NYU develops a student success network for each group practice. This network is made up of an academic advisor, faculty mentor, peer mentors, peer tutors, and group practice director. In the D1 year, students start getting clinical exposure through general dentistry clinical rotations. In the second year, dental students go on specialty clinical rotations to help them understand where they want to go in their future careers. In the final two years of dental school, dental students spend the majority of their time in clinic. Another academic offering of NYU is its honors and elective courses. These courses are available to D3 and D4 students, and they provide an opportunity to customize your education. Honors courses are in-depth studies of dental fields. Some topics of honors courses include specialty programs, research, and aesthetic dentistry. Elective courses, by contrast, provide exposure to specific aspects of dentistry. Some topics of elective courses include implant technology, dental history, and dental forensics. As mentioned earlier, NYU has the largest dental class in the entire country. With that large class, there are many dental facilities at your disposal. One facility is the NYU Dentistry Oral Health Center for people with disabilities. In this center, students can work alongside faculty in serving patients with special needs. On the right side of this slide, I have included an image of what a treatment room looks like in that center. Another dental facility is the NYU Dentistry Brooklyn Patient Care. This center implements a high efficiency model where students and faculty work side by side in patient treatment. In order to work in this facility, you need to be selected amidst your dental class. A third dental facility is the Metro Community Health Centers at NYU College of Dentistry. This center is located on the first floor and it integrates dental and medical care. Finally, there is the NYU Dentistry Center for Oral Health Policy and Management. This is an interdepartmental and interdisciplinary think tank focused on oral health policy. A final academic offering of NYU is its research opportunities. NYU has many programs available to help students get involved in research. One of those programs is the Summer Research Fellowship Program, which is a four-week summer program where incoming D1 students conduct full-time research with faculty on campus. 
These students also attend seminars to learn about other research projects. There are also elective courses that enable students to get involved in research. The D1 DARE course provides D1 students with this opportunity where they spend between three and five hours per week on research with mentors. There are also elective courses for D2 through D4 students that involve research experience. You can gauge this elective course based on how many hours you want to dedicate towards research. So a guided research course is worth three credits and requires nine hours of research per week and an independent research course is worth one credit and requires three hours of research per week. Here we have some final application logistics and financial estimations. All of the information here was pulled from the NYU Dental website. So New York University has a supplemental application that is emailed to students after submission of the IDEA AdSAS application. This supplemental includes essays and a $80 supplemental fee. NYU's interview format is an individual interview with a faculty member, and the estimated annual cost of attendance is $99,000, not including the cost of living in New York City and the cost of transportation. 